My name is Maria Gornman and I'm a Danish graphic designer and I live in Lystrup outside Aarhus in Denmark. I used to be a classical musician. I went to the music academy and I started playing organ and as a classical singer. And I sort of changed over some years. You know, I grew in a different direction in my personality. And um, I have a little funny story about my boys. They saw I had a transition, but and they said I was a Pokemon because I evolved. When I started to work as a graphic designer, I started making very little work, such as web design, logo design. I started to discover I could use the graphic design in a more artistic way. So it kind of evolved because of curiosity and passion to learn more, see how far I could go with the tools I had. I'm still in the process of learning. My artwork actually changes every time I learn a new tool. So it's, it's really interesting to see that it's not always an idea or an inspiration that is the initiator of a, a new artwork. It can be a tool. I, I love to walk in nature and it's a great way of relaxing. And there's all sorts of patterns to see in nature. If you look at waves, if you look at how the wind is moving in the trees. If you are kind of indoor, most you see is sort of static. And when you get outside, it's more alive and your senses is being inspired. Often we pass by because we're so busy and we don't really see it. And so just to pause and really recognize what's around you, it's a great inspiration. Uh, the project for Adobe Max, I started on it in 2013. I had a summer holiday with a huge amount of time to be creative and I had an idea of playing around with Illustrator Blends and I didn't have any specific picture in mind. I was just curious what was possible to make with the blends. So I tried different things and it turned out to become the I Speak Fluid Color Series. My secret to staying creative is mainly to be very curious and alert, aware. I find inspiration everywhere, places you, you wouldn't expect to find inspiration.